so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create this kind of light switching effect in the blender with the help of the drivers so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and before starting the tutorial guys i just want to tell you one thing if you want to do practice on this project file so you can download this project file from the description that will be free for my all subscribers so now let's start the tutorial and one more time i just want to show you what we are going to make exactly so here you can see this is the off and this is the on so how we can create this kind of light Light switch effect so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i'm just going to uh, cut this project file and start a new fresh file so here you can see guys here we have a new fresh file so first of all i'm just going to collapse this window something like that and now i'm just going to show you uh, what we have exactly so here we have a basic scene here okay so here we have a one point light here you can see this is nothing to explain you more and same thing we have a basic model of uh, this switch okay here you can see this is a very basic model and we have a one chair here okay so first of all we are going to make this uh, switch up and down uh, effect so how we can create this basically so here you can see guys if i'm just going to move this uh, switch pressing the z so here you can see it's going to everywhere there is no particular direction of this uh, switch so how we can maintain this limit and how, how we can maintain the direction so for that what we have to do we have to just uh, press the n on our keyboard and first of all i'm just going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the right hand side okay on the right hand side you can see easily so then i'm just going to my item section and under the transform we have a uh, some uh, location transform here and if i'm just going to click this uh, switch so here you can see we have uh, some uh, locations uh, values here so right now if i'm going to move it so here you can see it's going to everywhere so how we can uh, hold this uh, position basically how we can lock this position so we'll just uh, going to lock this x and y so here you can see our uh, half problem is solved it's just going to move only a uh, z axis that's great to us okay but there is one problem also if i'm just going to move this uh, on a z axis it's going to beyond this uh, shape which we have created here that is we want okay so for that what we will do we will just uh, add one uh, constrainer here it's called limit constrainer so for that i'm just going to make constrainers option and here i'm just going to add one uh, limit constrainer it's called uh, limit location basically so here we have to add uh, some uh, minimum and maximum value of this uh, slider so first of all i'm just going to add my minimum uh, value of the z limit from the z axis basically and then i'm just going to uh, move it down something like that okay and on the right hand side here you can see we have uh, some value here so i'm just going to press the c and then i'm just going to paste this value to here pressing the v so here you can see now it's not going to move uh, beyond this shape and that's great to us okay so now i'm just going to move uh, our second option it's called maximum so now i'm just going to click this z so when i click this z so it's going to uh, here automatically move to here so for that what we have to do we have to just uncheck this first of all then we have to just uh, so first of all i'm just going to move it upside and keep it where you want to stop it so i think that's that's enough to me okay then i'm just going to copy this value from here and going to paste it here and then i'm just going to enable this z value so here you can see now if i just move it it's not going to beyond this shape and that's look great to me okay but there is one problem here you can see if i'm just uh, going to move this pressing the z so if i'm just reach it the end of this limit but still our uh, z values going to increase uh, continuously here you can see on the uh, z location transformation if i'm just going to move it uh, on the downside so is still these number are going to increasing okay but, uh, here you can see it's not going to beyond this but these number are going to increasing continuously so how we can stop this uh, thing basically how we can rid of this problem so for that we have to just enable our effect transform option so what we will uh, does exactly it's not not going to affect our location values after reach at the here okay so here you can see now it's not going to affect any values of the z location and that's great so that's how you can create this uh, switch uh, option here so now i'm just going to move it to the uh, other part so first of all i'm just going to select my light here okay and uh, if i'll just click this light properties so here you can see we have a uh, our spotlight and here we have uh, some uh, 
power of our light okay power of values so what i'm going to do exactly i'm just going to right click of this power value then i'm just going to click the add driver so when we'll click the add driver we have a new dialog box appear here okay so first one i'm just going to change this scripted expression to the average value because we don't want to do any math this is the very basic values here i'm going to put it so here you can see it will look like this first of all and then i'm just going to uh, select my switch uh, object so this is our switch object basically i'm just going to and then i'm just going to set this type as a z location yeah okay so right now if i'm just trying to move it down this so here you can see that will not going to affect our lighting basically so it's going to affect it but it's not too visible basically so for that what we have to do we have to just uh, first of all we have to just uh, split this window something like that then i'm just going to move it here okay and then i'm just going to change our window as a driver window yeah here you can see and then i'm just going to select my light from the here so here we'll see some uh, graph here here you can see this is our graph basically okay i'm going to move it and then i'm just going to press the n and uh, and after that i'm just going to select a light so when i click on it so we will see this graph here okay so first of all i'm just going to change this as a driver okay so here you can see we have the same setting which is we have uh, done before so i'm just going to switch uh, to the f curve here and here we'll see some uh, options called interpolation option so first of all we'll change this uh, interpolation to bezier to the linear okay and then i'm just going to uh, put the value of this uh, slider to here okay and then i'm just going to uh, change the value according to our light value so first of all what i'm going to do i'm just going to uh, select this here and then i'm just going to copy this value and paste it to here okay but make sure don't copy in a meter value because it's not going to accept this so so how you can copy this basically so you have to just select it and then you have to just select only these values okay and then you have to just select your light again and then go to the here and on the keyframes option you have to just paste it these value okay and then you have to just set the value as a hundred so our scene going to illuminate something like that okay so you can increase this value to 100 as well okay it's according to your scene uh, illumination okay so it's depend up to you how much light you want but i think 200 is fine to me okay then after that what we will do we'll just select this light again and we'll just hit the home button so we'll get this graph again okay then i will select this um, bottom curve just going to move it down something like that and going to copy this same value from here except this m and then i'm just going to select my light again and going to paste this value here so here you can see what will happen exactly so if i'll just move this slider to the upside so our scene going to illuminate and if i'm just going to downside so our scene going to darker okay so that is uh, that is called basically on and off and that's so if i'm just going to collapse this window and going to again split this window and uh, focus on this part and keep it here so here you can see now i'm just going to off and on so that's how you can create this on and off uh, effect in the blender with the help of the driver and that is very uh, easy and uh, cool trick basically you can try it anytime anywhere and uh, that's it for this tutorial guys and thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have a suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys